Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabriella. This is part two of what papers I recommend for using Stabilo Woodies. The first part focused on dry application, what surfaces work best for Stabilo Woodies as pastels slash wax crayons. In this one, we'll be looking at watercolor papers, and I'll also show you some speed paints that I recorded over the week specifically for this video. This is my watercolor paper stash that consists of samples of various brands and ranges that I have ready to make swatches and to try out new media. Here I'm picking out papers that I think would work well with Stabilo Woodies. What I'm looking for is a cold press surface with a medium tooth, preferably a mixture of cellulose and cotton. What I'm holding right now here is the Fabriano 1264 watercolor paper that has a very rough surface. I love this paper for ink tents and watercolor pencils. However, the Stabilo Woodies don't seem to dissolve at all on this paper, so I will need something a little bit less textured. I switched to Kenson Student watercolor paper to create some test swatches. This is a 250 GSM cold pressed paper by Kensen, manufactured in Poland for the Eastern European market. It's available everywhere here where I live. It's kind of a step down from the widely popular Kensen XL range. It's lighter than the Kensen XL paper, also a bit more textured than that, but altogether smoother than the Fabriano 1264. I feel like this paper has the right amount of tooth for this medium, but it also has a tendency to buckle a lot. So in the end, I decided to switch to Kenson XL because that one has a better overall quality. I apologize for this footage. I recorded it late at night, so it doesn't have the best lighting, but hopefully you can still tell that the crayons are performing really well on this paper. It was really a piece of cake to paint this one. Kenson XL is a very reliable budget watercolor paper that works really well in mixed media. Unfortunately, the prices have gone up a lot lately. I would say within the student grade watercolor paper realm, this paper is definitely on the expensive side, but I think it's still worth it. So my first recommendation for Stabilo Woodies in wet application is the Kenson XL watercolor paper. You can see the wet and dry layers on top of each other, which is what I love the most about using watercolor crayons. The second paper that I really enjoy using with these crayons is the Fabriano Studio Cold Pressed Watercolor Paper. It's only 200 GSM, so it's both lighter and softer than the Fabriano 1264. It doesn't buckle too bad despite it being a lightweight paper, and even though it's a lot more textured than Kenson, the crayons still dissolve quite well on the surface. It comes in both 200 and 300 GSM versions, and the 200 GSM also comes in jumbo packs that are super affordable. This is the cheapest, while still decent, budget watercolor paper that I know. You can see it in many of my videos, as I use it often. I especially enjoy using it with Stadler watercolor pencils, Derwent Graffitant and Charcoal, as well as the Stabilo Woody crayons. Of course, given the fact that it's more textured than the Kenson XL, it's going to give a different effect. I personally really like this kind of textured look. I'll even deliberately leave crayon and pencil marks in my art, rather than trying to dissolve everything because I like it that way, but it's entirely up to personal preference. The crayons layer really well on this paper, so I'll typically apply two wet layers and one or two dry layers on top to build up depth and also to add in all the details. The Stabilo Woodies and watercolor crayons in general are a very versatile medium that you can use however you like. My way of using them is not the only way, so feel free to experiment and find new ways to make use of them. Here you could see me take pigment directly off of the tip of the crayon with my brush. That is typically how I like to paint tiny details. You can also dissolve the crayons on a separate palette if you like. However, the best fun in these crayons is that you can draw with them on a piece of paper and then dilute them with water. Dissolving the crayons on a separate palette kind of defeats the purpose. 
also in my experience, the crayons appear a lot more saturated when applied directly on the paper. It's no secret, I'm in love with this paper. It has just the right amount of tooth to create this beautiful mixed media effect. This is my personal favorite. Finally, I wanted to show you how these crayons perform on 100% cotton watercolor paper. I only have hot pressed and I have two, Fabriano Artistico and Claire Fontaine. I did some initial test swatches on Fabriano Artistico and I didn't really like it so I skipped it altogether. This Claire Fontaine worked out slightly better but I was still having kind of a hard time. I'm not very experienced in cotton papers, I have them but I hardly ever use them. To be honest, I prefer a mixture of cellulose and cotton like the Fabriano Studio. That's because of instead of traditional watercolor fine art, I rather do mixed media and in my opinion water soluble media dissolve better on a mixture of cellulose and cotton, but then again that is just personal taste. Painting this piece was not like a horrible experience by any means, I just preferred the previous papers over this one. If you are more into 100% cotton papers, this Claire Fontaine worked okay, however on Fabriano Artistico I was not able to fully dilute the crayon to paint a base layer like I wanted to. It's kind of funny and I'm actually planning on making a video on it. I tried out the Mongyo Aquarelle crayons on Fabriano Artistico and it worked like a dream, so I'm kind of fired up right now to experiment further with Mongyo crayons on Fabriano Artistico. So yeah, expect more crayon videos to come. I think I've found my niche in the YouTube art community and that's water soluble media, especially crayons. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel for more. Take care. Bye.